YouTube, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. I have a Windows 10 LTSC optimization guide for you guys. What is LTSC? LTSC is an enterprise version of Windows where basically nothing really changes. You kind of just get um, security updates, which is just sort of really nice, like nothing changes in it. On it, it's based off the latest Windows 10 build. Um, and it, a lot of gamers sort of like to use it because it's a bare bones uh, Windows version uh, straight from Microsoft. Now we're not supposed to really be using Windows builds like this. I wish Microsoft would um, sell keys a lot more affordable for this build, but they don't. But just think of a Windows build that comes straight from Microsoft that um, comes without like the Windows store, any of the Windows apps, a really, really minimal, clean Windows install without all the kind of crap that generally does come with Windows. I'm going to be doing a guide for you guys, showing you guys we're going to install the um, evaluation edition of this and I'm going to show you guys how you can get it off the evaluation edition. Unfortunately, at the time of this video, activating it is a bit of a problem or at least activating it legally. Um, the LTSB or LTSC keys from 2019 do not work. The gray market keys do not work at all. So <clears throat> you guys are kind of on your own there getting it activated. It's not really gonna be possible unless you do it illegally, which I'm not going to be showing in this video. But I wanted to do content on this Windows build because I actually believe it's probably one of the best Windows builds at the moment for gaming without having to modify anything. It's just really clean and I wanted to do a video on it. I had a few people asking me to do a video on this, so that's what we're going to be doing here. So we're going to need a couple of downloads. Um, what's a good thing about this Windows build, unlike we just did a wind, uh, we just did a video on um, 2022 server. There was There's issues with the AMD drivers. There wasn't with um, NVIDIA drivers. On this build of Windows, there's no problems running um, any kind of graphics drivers at all. It's all pretty straightforward and flawless. You can run whatever you want. Um, I do have a little fix for NVIDIA drivers. If you want to uh, use the latest, which are DCH, I've um, got the NVIDIA control panel installed with our optimization pack we're going to be using. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and download it. We're going to install the Windows. I'm going to show you how to optimize it and the ins and outs and how nice and clean this Windows build is. But um, just for the guys that are watching this video, they're not really sure. I probably wouldn't recommend this running this Windows just because you can't really activate it by legal means. Um, and as far as like throughput and, and FPS and latency, there's really no difference between using this 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 Windows build and normal Windows 10. It's just, uh, I, I really appreciate how clean this Windows is honestly. And you guys will see once we've installed it. So go to my YouTube channel, probably in the description of this video and click on Mega Drive. Mega, Mega and Z drive files. There should be the optimization pack in here for you guys, which will be LTSC 2021. So just go ahead and download that. We're going to need that. And then go to the, should be a link in the description for this web website to the downloading the um, evaluation test edition for enterprise LTSC. So just go in here, click ISO enterprise LTSC and press continue. In here, you can just type whatever, it doesn't really matter. So just type anything in here for now. All right, and then I like to uncheck. Yes, just press continue. Go ahead and download. We want the 64-bit version. I um, want the English version. Just go ahead and download that. Now I've already downloaded this, ready to go, so you don't have to worry. But just go ahead and download that, and we'll install this Windows version, and then I'll show you guys how to optimize it. So I've already got the files um, ready to go for the optimization. All you guys will need to do is install your graphics driver and do graphics driver settings with this optimization guide. That's all you guys are going to have to worry about. Everything else should be pretty straightforward and automated. Now, um, <clears throat> we could use uh, Rufus with the USB or, um, you know, media creation tool. We could use a couple of things for, for me and this video, I'm just going to be doing dual boots and, um, installing this off a fake partition off my hard drive. So, and I've got a spare hard drive. We're going to install the windows too. So let's just go ahead and set that up now. All right, so I'm just going to put the Windows install files on here and I'm just going to call this USB. And I'm going to extract, you guys probably need, if you want to do it this method, you'll, you'll need 7-zip or WinRAR to extract these files and I'm just extracting them straight to the USB partition. All right, let's get these files ready to go. I just need the Windows install files in the, the pure directory, so I'm just going to put them here. And we're going to need the optimization pack when we do the new install. So if you guys have uh, made a bootable USB with this or whatever, just put the optimization files in there. Um, and I'm going to put the graphics driver and 7-zip in here. Um, right, so let's go ahead and boot to this and we'll install this on this other hard drive. So let's go straight to BIOS. All right, let's boot to this now. 
Guys, let's go to boot. I'm gonna change my boot option to the fake USB. Let's go ahead and do this install. All right, so it should just be kind of like just any normal install. So just follow through the prompts. Although like I've said before, it, it, this is the evaluation edition. So we do need to convert this from the evaluation edition to standard edition. So if a gray market key does come available, we can activate it. Um, Anyway, so don't, don't install the end version because that comes without Media Player. And if you don't have Media Player, or at least the bare files for Media Player, there's some games like Grand Theft Auto 5 that they just bug out and you can't play. So just, just select the first one, the one that doesn't say end on it. Um, just go ahead and press next. Accept the terms, blah, blah, blah. Go to custom. All right, so I'm just going to be um, doing a dual boot here. So I'm not wiping my original bootloaders on my original Windows store. I'm just doing a... A dual boot, so I'm going to select like the last hard drive that you guys saw before. And we'll just follow through the prompts and do the install. All right, we'll just follow through the normal prompts here. Okay, guys, we want to use a um, offline account, not a Microsoft account. So just click the main join instead. Name the PC whatever you want it to be. I'm just going to call it PC. And we can leave the password blank because we're using a... Um, Offline account, uncheck all of these guys. Go ahead and press accept. Okay, so I've installed the Windows, we're ready to go. As you can see here, we've got the evaluation edition. We wanna get off the evaluation edition because once it's ex expired, I believe it's in like 90 days or so, the PC generally will restart or give you an annoying prompt every hour. So I can help you guys get off the evaluation edition. I can't help you guys activate, unfortunately, until there are gray market keys or something like that out there. So I'm just going to go to the file explorer by pressing Windows key and E. Um, and then I'm going to need some files here. So I'm going to grab the... I don't need to show you guys installing the graphics driver. That's no big deal on, on this Windows build. Uh, you can use, like I said before, you can use NVIDIA, any NVIDIA driver or any AMD driver. It should work fine. We just write, basically, we need the optimization files so just go ahead and we'll grab that and we'll extract it and then all we need to do is just like transplant these files into c drive we should be good to go so we've extracted those just go ahead and open this and copy all of these so grab all of these and copy them and then just paste them into c drive okay let's do this for all current items we're gonna have to run everything as an administrator for the scripts because we are not using the administrator account and we haven't disabled UAC on this. But let's follow through the prompts. So first thing we want to do is we want to disconnect the ethernet cable. Um, and because I'm lazy and I don't want to do that right now, I'm just going to disable this. Now the little um, bypass to get this evaluation edition to standard edition is, I found it straight from Google. Um, it's a little bit gray, but I'm not activating it for you guys. So technically it should be fine. Um, I'll just show you guys the script here. Now those files already had them included. Um, so I'll just show you guys here. Basically some Windows System 32 files that can help you get off the evaluation edition to the normal edition. Um, but that's all sort of taken care of for you guys. So all you guys should have to do is just go to the C drive, go ahead and run uh, make sure you've disconnected the Ethernet cable. Go ahead and run upgrade to full version as administrator. So we'll just go ahead and we'll run that. Okay, that should be done. And it's going to restart the PC for us. And when we restart the PC, we should be off the evaluation edition now. And we should be on the normal edition. So like I said, guys, hopefully um, gray market keys become available soon because I'm a big fan of this operating system. It's really, really clean. Okay, and now we're off the evaluation edition, as you can see. So if I go to maybe about, like system and about, you'll see that we are actually off. We are kind of on the normal version now, but it's not activated. Now, there are other ways to activate Windows, which I'm not going to show on YouTube, and it's uh, totally illegal. But you guys are on your own. Um, ideally, if they bring out gray market keys, um, I can, I'll, I'll um, make a pinned comment in the description below. But for now, um, I can't help you guys out with activating this. I'm sorry. Now, to continue on with the optimization, it should be pretty straightforward. 
Um, I've already made a script that'll do basically everything for us. So just go ahead and run post install once you've done that. So run post install and make sure you run this one as administrator, it's really important. So we just run this as administrator and it's gonna flow through all the prompts for us. So it's installing the power plan, disabling Hibernate, installing the C++ packages, timer res, DirectX, um, all of that good stuff. All the registry keys are gonna be installed. So if it looks like nothing's happening, just wait because it's installing things in the background. You shouldn't have to click on anything. This script will just kind of walk you through everything and it'll do it for you. So I just installed timer resolution service. Now it's installing DirectX. So I've got like a, a 10 second timeout on, on this, this. So just, just wait, wait for it to install. Okay, now it's imported the registry tweak. So that's gonna take care of like all immersive control panel settings, control panel settings, absolutely everything. It's installing the NVIDIA control panel because this Windows version doesn't come with a Windows store and we'll need that for our DCH drivers. So we can actually use our DCH drivers. And that's just gonna restart the PC for you guys. Once it's restarted, all you guys should have to worry about is your graphics driver and your graphics driver settings. Um, that, that will be it. Update your windows and you'll be good to go. We just, uh, we just need those gray market keys to come out for, for this windows build and it would be perfect. Okay. So it's just finished restarting guys. All optimizations should have been taken care. Um, you shouldn't need this script, um, to open the NVIDIA control panel, but if NVIDIA control panel doesn't open up, just use this script once you've installed your driver and it should actually open up. Um, the control panel if you guys have issues with the DCH drivers, but that's all taken care of just to show you guys the uh, scripts that we ran that we just ran before um, I don't think I included it in here, but everything's taken care of for you guys. So as you can see the uh, timer resolution service is installed power plan completely done All settings in here are done taken care of e annoying ease of access stuff's turned off took care of all of that stuff guys um and as you can see here like you know all of these settings are done background apps are turned off all you like i said all you guys need to worry about is installing your graphics driver and um doing your graphics driver settings that's it now this build isn't going to be for everyone and obviously most of you guys can't activate it but you know there's no store store apps i have seen a couple of guides on the internet and tried them before to install the windows store on LTSC and it is possible, but not everything works and you're really wasting your time. If you want the Windows Store, you should just be using normal Windows Home and Pro. The whole point of using this OS is basically this OS you have support for 10 years. When you install updates, it only installs security updates. It won't change any of your settings and it won't do anything funky at all. I mean, it's just a really nice clean build. So if a gray market key comes out for this Windows version, I will actually main it, but for now, because I can't get it activated legally by legal methods. I'm just gonna stick with Windows 10 Pro. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video and hope it was helpful to you guys. Subscribe, like, share around. I have an optimization service on Twitter. If you guys wanna check me out, I extensively do overclock your PC for you and reinstall Windows and all of that good stuff. I do stream over on Twitch, come check me out on Twitch. Um, subscribe and like guys and check out my gaming YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, bye.